so look. Generally, lighthouses are 40 miles apart, so as you're sailing away and you lose sight of the lighthouse you see, another one will be coming out. Okay. Problem with this one, it's behind those trees over there. We're way above the ocean and we can't see it. Well, that's the graveyard in the Pacific. And no. There's over 2,000 ships and boats underwater out there. Um, they didn't make it. About 800, 900 people are still out there. Hmm. And so they built this lighthouse in 1898. They were going to put in a big reflector in the windows here. It's out there. It, and the boat it was carrying it out. It's never made it to shore. <laughs> okay. So they, they robbed this one and they uh, put a lens out of it into here. This is the lens. It's a first order Fresnel lens. It's the biggest one they make. And it was so big, you had to walk out here because if, if, it, if you hit it here, you hit the lens as it went around. Mm -hmm. There was just no roll. They still use this type of a lens in the Seagull Lighthouse down in Florence, Oregon. I volunteered there for three years. And when I put my hand right behind you on the rail, if you put your hand open, uh, you're going to hit the you can stop the lens from turning. Wow. So they didn't let us take anybody up there. Mm -hmm. And it went clear up into that bracket. So I couldn't see any of you. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to see some, you had one view and you had to walk around here or walk around there to see something. And this lens is now at the Lewis and Clark Interpretive Center. If you've been in our park, you've seen it there. Um, just the other side of that hill, they only charge for the for the basement for the Lewis and Clark Park. Upstairs, they've got a lifeboat, a bunch of pieces off ships that have landed, mm -hmm. and this lens, and you can go take a look at it. Inside of it, they have five wick kerosene lantern, and that provided the light back in the early days. Each little building had a six month supply of kerosene in it, and so they gave you a five gallon can to carry the kerosene up the stairs. <laughs> uh, you didn't bring any kerosene with you. <laughs> <laughs> and five gallons of gas, if you ever carried a five gallon gas can, you know it's heavy. So they made them out of brass, so when you're plunking on the steel steps, it's not gonna make a spark, because we don't have a fire escape. <laughs> well, you don't want a fire up here. So that five gallon of kerosene, how long will it last for? It'll last that shift. Oh, just a one ship, one yeah. gallon. So mm -hmm. before you come up for your ship, you have to carry it out. Usually, they okay. had three light keepers and they were eight hour shifts. The man come up about eight o'clock in the morning and relieve the guy who's been here all night and he'd go to sleep. If it's a nice day like today, he has to snuff out the light, trim the wicks, and brush them so it'll give a good, clear flame that night. Mm -hmm. Polish the brass wipe down that big lens and wash the windows inside and out. Wow. If it's a nasty day, he just had to bring out more kerosene. Even that work is hard. <laughs> if I was a light keeper here, I'd be doing a rain dance every day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So in 1937, they got electricity up here, so you didn't have to haul kerosene anymore. Mm -hmm. And the big lens was retired. This is a fourth order for Nell lens. It's just a hair smaller. They put an electric lantern in there, and they can see that 17 miles out. Mm -hmm. Because these lenses are what does all the work. It shoots the light down, brings it up, and magnifies it out there. It shoots a big, big old beam. Mm -hmm. And with those, when they actually gave a pattern like a big X as they went around. Mm -hmm. So the lightkeeper at night could go downstairs, read a book for 15 minutes, and if 
he looked out the window and he saw the light going around below him, he knew everything was still working right. Mm -hmm. So nowadays we have uh, this lens oh, also over here. He is now in the Astoria Maritime Museum. Mm -hmm. You can see that. 1996, they got a different beacon. This is still a Fresnel lens, even though it's flat, and it still shoots all the light into the center, mm -hmm. but you notice it's not blinding us, it's mm -hmm. kind of reflecting on our clothing. But if you go up, where all those people are standing on the trail, mm -hmm. and look at the lighthouse, when it goes around, you see, see, the light, you see the flash. So it's still doing what it's supposed to. Awesome. And inside of here is this. Mm -hmm. One little light bulb, 35 watt, 12 volt. Looks like it came out of a taillight of a Chevrolet. <laughs> and when one bulb burns out, oh, the next wow. one will pop up. <clears throat> oh, that's that's that. So you don't have to carry kerosene, and most days you don't even have to carry a light bulb. Mm -hmm. The Coast Guard comes up here about every nine or ten months, takes the lid off, replaces all the bulbs, and sets this back down inside there. Mm -hmm. So this is the actual size of the thing mm -hmm. in here? Yeah, in fact, if you look down in here, or inside, there it is. you'll see this gizmo. Here. Oh, yeah, I can see it. I can see it. Okay. I mentioned about every 40 miles there's a lighthouse. Every lighthouse has its own signature, mm -hmm. and that's how the mariners know where they are. Mm -hmm. Here, you get a one second flash as it goes right by you, and then it takes nine seconds until you're even with the next panel, and you get another one second flash, and then they've got them blacked out. So now it's a 19 second delay. Mm. So one nine, one nineteen, all white. And they look at their chart and go, oh, we're at the North End Lighthouse. Mm. How did we get here? <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is still a functional lighthouse. It is. It's working right now. And that's the same pattern as it was back in 1898? They changed from time to time. Because okay. when it, in the old days with the big old lens, uh -huh. they had a cable and a big weight like a grandfather clock. At the CETA, you had to run upstairs every 39 minutes and crew oh. that weight up, and it would slowly work down oh. and that would slowly turn the lens. Oh. With electric, they, they turn faster now, yeah. and so they altered them a little bit. Mm -hmm. But once you're out there and you that, at that point, you know where you are. You might be lost the rest of the day. <laughs> <laughs> At that point, you knew where you were. The other lighthouse, it's got a blue and a white, I'm sorry, a red and white light. And it's hard to see. Mm -hmm. uh, I went out the other night down by the jetty, uh, down there by the water, and you see a white flash, and 10 seconds later, you get a red flash. Mm -hmm. 10 seconds later, white flash, 10 seconds later, a red flash. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not real bright here because it's meant for the ships. When they come, they don't just come in there. They come from the southwest and they come up towards us. Okay. So the light is actually focused out there. And at one point, they actually had half of this lens blocked with a plate so it wouldn't shine up mm -hmm. to the towards us way. here. Mm -hmm. What, what makes this a graveyard? Hmm? What makes it a graveyard? The 2,000 ships and the 900 this, people out there. It's just a bad spot. Yeah, the, the sandbars shift. And right out there is called Peacock Spit. It was named after the Peacock one of the earlier boats that went down. You may see this in a gift shop. Mm -hmm. This is only 150 of the 2,000. Oh, wow. And they have stories. The Admiral Benson, I've seen a picture of it. It didn't hit the sandbar. It hit another shipwreck. Oh, wow. And they, they so that shallow, huh? 
Yeah, <laughs> and they rescued like 106 people that day. The captain stayed on, said, if I can get a high tide, I can back off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They went out a few days later. He says, I'm still here. The ship hasn't broken up. I'll wish that high tide. On the seventh day, he called him, come get me. <laughs> <laughs> so the, that boat is actually still intact. Still the, Navy, wow. the Navy did some uh, exploration. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've seen photographs of it. Mm -hmm. So, but each each ship has its own sad sad story Sorry. about it. Sandbars. Your boat is going to get hit by waves from three different angles. Mm -hmm. So the Coast Guard is always out there because they train their skippers here. If you can handle this on a bad day, you can do okay, anything. You think it. Yeah. <laughs> and today's like a swimming pool out there. It's pretty nice. R Rochar, you said that uh, this light can be uh, the old light, right? Can be seen 17 miles away. Yeah. What about this one? The new ones. Same. Same. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah the, the, big biggest, light, the biggest one could have gone a little farther mm -hmm. because of um, magnifying parts of that prism is a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. But everybody stays out now. That's why you don't see ships real close. Oh, okay. Oh, no. It's okay. Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Ha, ha, ha.